You found it? Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dominic with another one of your videos here. I am being joined by my friends right here, Mr. Pip, Mr. Ian. I have Isaac in the back. We are on our way out to North Lake. We're going to be meeting up with others to go swimming and go hiking. So I hope you guys will enjoy this segment. This is not going to be a relatively long segment, just a day of outdoor adventures. And I hope you guys enjoy. No, I don't have the lavalier, so you're gonna have to deal with me holding the phone. Alrighty, I digress, and hope you guys enjoy. shops and stuff in the area yeah so it's like on days where like I get out of work before mm -hmm. me mom and I worked out a plan where like because like I don't live walking distance from whose work. phone is that that's not my phone what that must be Isaac's Too bright out here. We are on 23A. We're passing Catterskill Falls. I hadn't been up this way in over four years. It gets pretty woundy around the arch. <clears throat> I'm just getting the scenery here. North Lake. It is beautiful out here. I'm just taking in the scenery. These are my friends. They're right behind me. It's beautiful out here. Joliet. Joliet is like 30 at uh, 30 minutes, right? From Chicago. Oh. You mean the tilt? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. 
Yeah, back in the day, we used to have like a lot of people who would call to like have little College town. Yeah, well, not really like party parties, but just like the kind of parties where you go and like, you know, people would be kind of just having dinner and then playing cards against you or something. Yeah. So, like everyone thought they were older than they actually were. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we had a couple of things. We had like some mutual friends where... I think I've seen pictures from years ago. I don't know if you met my brother. Uh, who's your brother? Felipe. Oh, you're Felipe's brother? Yes. Oh yeah, I know Felipe. Yes. I'm pretty sure I even went to school with him at some point. Yes, yes. I'm I am his twin brother. I was like, twin brother. So familiar. Yes. <laughs> I am a fraternal twin. <laughs> Triplets even. Yeah, right? Well, this is the first day you're getting to know me as a twin. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he didn't tell you. I, I, I mean, honestly, like, I don't think we really went out that much, like, outside of the parties where we would just, like, be doing some activity. Yeah. We weren't, like, walking through the woods talking, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat of an introvert. I wasn't really out like that. I was more focused into school, you know, I did yeah. school pro- I went to college and I did school programs. But that's pretty much about it. It's no grill. Yeah, so uh, I know it was kind of spontaneous, but uh, I think Alon may have posted some pictures from like years ago, and I think, think I think you might you might have met my twin brother. He had long hair at the time. Actually not my phone. For some odd reason, my devices are not working and they're not cooperating. So I'm borrowing my friend's phone for the time being, and we're gonna alternate. My friend was so generous, thank you very much. I am a little annoyed, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going. The show must go on. This picture. Nick. See the numbers moving? No. No, uh No, I went back to Watson there was a fire going on, saw the park rangers
And we're back, folks. I was having technical issues earlier, but I'm catching up to these guys right now. The phone is up and running, you guys. Hey there, so I do want to apologize for a little bit earlier in the video when I said that we were going to get together and go swimming. We actually didn't have enough time to do that. And I also do want to apologize for my devices being faulty. My phone and my GoPro decided to die down, so I had to borrow my friend's phone in order to record half the footage. It wasn't until later on, you'll see it in the video, that I'm able to get the devices up and running again. But as you can see, we're going up this steep mountain here. It gets really rocky. I'm joined with my few friends. I actually met a few new faces. Some of them are actually my friend's friends, so I'm pretty good friends with my best friend. And we have mutual relations. It was a pretty nice time. It was beautiful out. Nice weather. We're located at North, Shore, uh, North South Lake, which is outside of Catterskill. It's a little bit further from Catterskill Falls. I hadn't been to Catterskill Falls in over four years, but as you see, we're going up the mountain and we, we were exchanging conversations. It was a pretty nice time. I actually have a summary here because I'm not a historian and I'm not good with memorizing, but I'm gonna read you a brief description about North South Lake. It's basically a state campground in the Catskill Forest Preserve near Palinville, New York operated by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation near the site of the historic Catskill Mountain House overlooking the Hudson River. The escarpment on, the, on which the lakes are located at 2,250 feet, 1,700 feet above the valley floor providing a view of five states and clear weather. This area is rich in history. It was a favorite subject of painters in the Hudson River School, particularly Thomas Cole. For a long time, the prestigious resorts, resort hotel in the area made it a synonymous with the Catskills. Today, the area provides hiking, swimming, boating, and fishing. So, as stated before, this is a rich history. It's very historic. And uh, I'm just going through here, talking about the early history. The North-South Lake area is not only the beginning of the recreational history of the Catskills, but America's first wilderness. This goes back to the years before the Revolution, to 1753, when early naturalist John Bartman visited the area with his son to collect samples of the Somme filth, which is sought for alleged medicinal properties. And I apologize in advance, uh, my dyslexia, my speech patterns, I'm having a hard time pronouncing these. While the seedings he gathered failed to flourish in Britain, which were planted by his park patrons, his account with the expedition, A Journey to Ye Catskill Mountains with Billy, became popular in the colonies and in Britain. In the early years of the 19th century, American artists 
seeking the subject matter unique to the new nation were drawn away from New York City and up of the Hudson Valley. They then focused on the wilderness and the landscape where the mountains drew close to the river, first in the Hudson Highlands, then further north in the Catskill and Compartment, where, where the mountains rise to nearly 4,000 feet from a flat valley floor. The work was known at first diversely as the Hudson River School and eventually became American's first home ground artist movement. So again, this is just a brief description and basically my understanding is that there are four parts to this. There's different attractions within the campground site. Uh, Mary's Glen, you have Artist Rock, you have Sunset Rock, and you have Newman's Ledge. We didn't get to get to go to all four, but we did went to at least two because it started to get dark. We went to Artist Rock. There, you can see a nice view. You might have seen it previously, but it's a very beautiful view of the mountains. You can actually see the Hudson River. And then we went to Sunset Rock. You'll see that a little bit later, but it gets very beautiful. You see the sunset, you actually see the moon, and it's a pretty awesome time. So I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this audio and let you finish watching the video. I'm gonna cut this short so you can see the rest of the video. Folks, this concludes our adventures for today. I hope you guys had a good time. We're about to head back to our prospective places, going back to our cars. We got a few minutes down, but as you can see, the nice scenery right here. It's very blue out here. Please be on the lookout for my next YouTube segment and talk to you guys later. Yeah, they couldn't give the tickets away. They were originally like $50 and they went down to 10 That's the sunset, y'all. But yeah, their new singer, I mean, it just didn't seem right to me. I mean, he had energy, but I don't know. It's not us. <laughs> this is a much better view. Big bright orange moon. <laughs> right.